Howdy, folks, and welcome. <laughs> I'm too goofy. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another recipe. Thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget, if you are not subscribed already, please go and subscribe. So today's recipe is oven baked baby back ribs. So I already cleaned my rib. I um, took off all the fat that I wanted to take off. And now you will see me peeling back that um, membrane on the back. So after I peel off my membrane, because it's just something when you take off the membrane, it just cuts better. It's a better bite. The seasoning is going to get all up in there better. So I always like to peel it off. Um, so now I'm just going to start basing my rib with mustard because mustard in a rib is good to us. We love mustard a mustard base on our ribs so next you will just see me using the seasonings of my choice and I'm just going to get this bad boy all lathered up and all seasoned up and I'll be back Now you just want to flip, season, repeat. And here you have it, a nice seasoned baby back rib. And don't forget to disinfect your um, seasonings that you didn't touch up um, and disinfect your work area. Just disinfect, clean. Here is after a 24 hour marination. If you can, let that rib marinate for a day. It will come out so much better. Now my rib is where I want it to be. So basically I let it cook in the oven covered for about two hours and then I cooked it uncovered for one hour now what I'm about to do is chop it all up I'm gonna chop them chop them up and um, get them ready for the basin part know really how to come at these joints these joints was like fresh out the oven still smoking hot and then I did not want it to rip apart I wanted to keep them bones nice and clean I was like how should I come at this okay let me grab a fork <laughs> What I was trying to do is prevent flipping it because I knew that joint was going to just come off the bone. I knew it, but I had to flip it because I couldn't see where to cut.
Okay, so now that you have your bones all nice and chopped up, here's my favorite part. Look at this. Easy cleanup. Yes. So here is your beautiful meat morsels. Now what I'm going to do is just grab my favorite barbecue sauce. I mean, it's just Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce fresh out of the container. I mean, you could spice it up if you want to. You could put it in a pot, add some more seasonings to your barbecue sauce. You could uh, make your uh, barbecue sauce from scratch if you want to. This works perfectly fine for me. And now what I'm going to do is just keep basing my uh, barbecue ribs. So this is the first coat. Now, after I brush on this first coat, I'm going to toss it in the oven and just let it caramelize for maybe about 10 minutes. And I'm going to repeat this process probably about three to four times or until I feel like, you know, it's enough sauce for me. So here's my ribs all nice and based. I did coat them about three times. And here is your finished product. I paired my barbecue ribs today with some tuna salad and some crackers because that's all I had to taste for with these ribs. I think that's just like a beautiful marriage. Tuna salad and ribs is so good together. And they came out spectacular. And then that hickory, try to season your ribs with something that has like a hickory, if you're gonna do them in the oven, try to season them with something that has like a hickory smoke taste so you can get that, like that slight grill taste. I mean, they came out so good, so good, perfect. Look how tender, that's some TLC right there. That's tender loving care. Look at that falling right off the bone. That don't make, look at that, coming right off the bone. Now that, that's pitiful. Now that's a shame. As always, thank you for watching. Everybody stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.